What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. So as you see, I have on my hot head deep conditioning cap. I am deep conditioning my hair. I thought now would be a good time for me to go ahead and try to update you guys in the middle of a walk day, like it makes sense, because hopefully this will make me remember things that I need to tell you guys. But again, I actually did this in previous videos, and now that I'm doing a dedicated hair video, any questions that you have in regards to my hair, how I treat my hair, how often I trim it, whatever the case may be, go ahead and leave it down in the comments of this video. The first thing I want to talk about with my hair is making sure I have nice manicured nails because I can't stand with my hair snags onto my hair and it gets caught. I'm not with that, so I always want to make sure I have nice, fresh, manicured nails. Okay, that may be like mad random. People don't, you know, people may not associate nails with the hair. Well, they should because, you know, most of our kids are like hair skin nails. So maybe you do. But my reason is because I don't want my hair to snag. So for today's wash day, I went in with a new item actually for my shampoo. I used the main choice Tropical Moringa Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Shampoo. It says it helps to support natural growth and retention. Ultra moisturizing formula cleanses without stripping, restores and locks in longer lasting moisture, helps to strengthen, nourish and protect, smooths frizz and adds softness, helps to reduce breakage and minimize shedding, enhances natural shine and luster, helps to improve elasticity and manageability, and is made for curly, wavy and kinky hair. So you can see just how much product I use, so I'm all the way down to here. I will say with this shampoo, I went in the first time, I usually wash my hair in halves. So I'll split my hair down the middle and I take care of one section at a time. So when I applied this shampoo to the first section, I didn't feel like it lathered up all the way towards the back, so I ended up having to put more and then um, doing one wash. But I'm a person that normally prefers to do one wash when it comes to my wash days. If I can do one shampoo session and then go into my conditioner, with my hair still feeling clean in between, I'll do that. But this shampoo in particular, I found that I had to go in twice. So I did wash this side, rinse it out, and then go ahead and wash it more. And that's when more suds came out. The first time I, the first during the first wash, I didn't find that it got so soapy and sudsy. And to me, the soap and suds means that your hair is clean. Like, a lot of people use sulfate-free shampoos, and I have tried sulfate-free shampoos in the past, and they are sulfate-free shampoos that actually do lather up but this one doesn't claim to be sulfate free i don't think oh no it is actually it is so it says no mineral oil no petroleum no parabens no sulfates and no formaldehyde so that's probably a big part of the reason why it didn't lather up the way i normally like it to lather up on that initial wash but when i went in the second time it lathered up really nicely and my hair felt really clean without being stripped of its natural oils. It says that these hair feeling soft and tangle free. I don't find that my hair felt so soft when I used it and definitely not tangle free. I concentrate shampoos more towards my scalp and I let the water bring it and cleanse the strands of the hair because usually the buildup of product will normally be at the scalp. So I focus my attention to the scalp more and then like I said, I just let the soap drip out of my hair when it's you know when it's being rinsed out with the water. When I washed it with this shampoo, I didn't find that like the tangles would slip out. And as I'm doing that, normally my tangles would just slip out. Like if I have any single strand knots. If you saw my last video, for the last two weeks I've been wearing that damn wig, <laughs> and my hair was in like six little braids all around my head. So of course there's gonna be some kind of shedding. I'm not the one to do the tangling before I get in the shower. I let the water and conditioner and stuff do its job. My go-to shampoo, I'm gonna leave a picture of it right here, I've been using it for years. It's the ORS Aloe Vera, what is it called? I can't think of it off the top of my head, but it's definitely the ORS shampoo. And I believe that's a sulfate-free shampoo, but that's one that I don't have to go in with on multiple washes. That one will get my hair washed right away. But this one, this is so free free as well. And like I said, I felt like I had to go in twice to get my hair feeling clean. It could have been clean the first time, but for me, like I said, I need that suds to know that my hair is actually washed and clean. Does it instantly hydrates and moisturizes? I don't find like my hair was too stripped or anything like that after using it. 
Again, it's just the first impression. It says this is self safe on color treated hair and it's gentle enough for daily use. But black girl, you know, is washing their hair daily. So I don't know about daily use, but I can see how they say it's gentle enough because that one wash, if your hair is not so dirty, that little first wash that I did, you know, it would have been good. But like I said, I had my hair, my braids in my hair for like two weeks. I definitely did, and it's hot. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it sweating and stuff. So yeah, I definitely had to do two washes with this, but I can see how they say it's gentle enough for daily use. I'll leave a link down below to the shampoo if you're really into um, ingredients. I know from what I'm seeing, the first ingredient is water. Then the second ingredient is um, a word I'm not gonna try to pronounce, but it says it's derived from coconut oil. And that could be another thing why I'm not, not that I don't like it. It's a okay shampoo, but I've had better shampoos. Like I said, if I can do the one wash, one rinse, and then get into my conditioning products, I'm happy with that. This, I feel like I'll be going through this faster than I would get, faster than I would go through any other shampoos. The last little section here says, Tropical Moringa Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Collection is a major key to maximizing, maximizing moisture retention. Our advanced moisturizing blend is infused with essential vitamins of moringa, oleifera seed oil, which is derived from the moringa tree, also known as the healing tree, that deeply penetrates the hair shaft to infuse it with vital moisture and nutrients. Power pack to improve shine, strength, and manageability. Add this shampoo to your healthy hair regimen and notice your hair retain moisture longer, become more lustrous, shinier, smoother, and healthier. So again, this was my first time just using this and it says watch over time that your hair will retain moisture, become more lustrous. I love shiny hair, I love smooth hair, and I love healthy hair. So these are things that, you know, the claims are really promising. It's just my first try. I don't even know what my hair looks like right now. So, you know, but that's that on the shampoo. <clears throat> Next up for my wash day, I skipped regular shampoo. I skipped regular conditioner altogether and I went straight into this deep conditioner so this is the TGIN thank god it's natural miracle repair x deep hydrating hair mask and it's formulated with black honey and coconut oil oh god more coconut oil what's wrong with me my hair doesn't normally um agree with coconut oil but i can do coconut oil in the warmer months because i feel like it's not that solidified state it does penetrate my hair a little bit better so i'm hoping i like the way my hair comes out or i will be washing my hair again pretty soon <laughs> but it says it's a deep moisturizing conditioner that helps reduce breakage that looks like so that is the tgin repair miracle repair rx deep hydrating hand mask and i thought it was interesting because they say how um one of the owners of the company she had a battle with cancer and she ended up losing her hair and she believes in natural ingredients to heal. So that's when they went and reformulated their deep conditioner. Not reformulated, they made another formula of deep conditioner, I should say, because the original deep conditioner from TGIN is the honey, I can't think of it, but I've tried that one before. I really like that one, so I wanted to see how the repair one would work. Um, and that's what's actually in my head right now. So we're gonna see, we'll see the results together in a minute. But I did warm up my cap. It's not warm anymore. I think I've had this in my hair for about an hour or so. Probably like two hours at this point. But the directions say, after shampoo, and of course they're telling you to use their products, but after the shampoo and conditioning, um, apply a generous amount of Miracle Repair RX Deep Hydrating Hair Mask. It says a generous amount, but I don't think I had to use so much. I think it looked like did a really good job at penetrating. It looked like, like I don't think for one wash. I don't. I've only this is the first time I'm using this as well, and I don't think I had to use a lot. I think it went through my hair really nicely. Um, I was able to finger tangle, and I'm telling you, as soon as this hit my um, as soon as this deep conditioner hit my hair strands, and I was finger tangling. Let me tell you how those single hand single strand knots was just slipping and sliding right through my hair as I was finger detangling. Now remember my hair is still in the two sections as I'm doing my hair. So I'm taking it one side at a time. So I did the finger detangling all my single strand knots is coming out. It's feeling real good and smooth. I'm like yes loving this deep conditioner. The initial feel you know. After you've applied the generous amount you want to make sure to comb through to ensure the even distribution from roots to ends. So 
I wasn't fully comfortable with just my hands. I went in with my new brush that I was telling you guys I love this new brush and it just might go into that pile over there because I'm going to be doing my favorites videos for you guys soon. But this, I have been going to this brush whether your hair is dry, whether it's wet. When I tell you it just went through, glided through my hair, distributed this deep conditioner really nicely. I love this brush. I'm so happy that I have this brush. And I'm not bad. This was $11 well spent. So yeah, that brush is definitely on point. And so far, I'm feeling the deep conditioner. So they say you can either place a plastic cap over here, sit under the dryer for 10 to 15 minutes, or leave on hair for 35 to an hour without heat, rinse thoroughly with warm water, followed by cool water. Okay, so the first ingredient is water, the next one is raw black honey, the third ingredient is olive fruit oil, then agave americana leaf, so agave extract, papaya fruit extract, ginger root extract. Like these are things that I can actually read, and that's why I get excited. So I'm excited, no more talking, let's just go ahead and pull this thing off my head and see how my hair is looking. So that's my hot head, you guys know I've been using hot heads for a long time and I was so happy after I moved that I could not find my hot head for nothing, it was brand new in the pack and I finally found it and I've been using it for like the last couple of months because I've been slacking on my deep conditioner, I'm not even going to lie, but today was the day. But like I said, I skipped regular conditioner and went straight into my deep conditioner. So I don't know if that's going to affect the results here, but I figure, you know, if I'm going to deep condition anyway, there's no reason for me to actually use a regular conditioner. So let's pull, I'm going to do this side first because this is the side that I did first. And I just used my alligator clips that I showed you guys in my Amazon haul. So keep it split up. And this is my hair with the deep conditioner in my head. Oh yeah, it feels nice and soft now though. It really feels soft and I feel like my curls are pretty popping right now. What y'all think? Mm -hmm. You see how my hair shrunk already just from taking it out? This side will shrink up in a minute too, but does it have more product or is that just saying that I have like heat damage on the side? My hair feels really soft and good. I'm, I can appreciate this deep conditioner. And you can see I still have hair shedding out, but I don't have a problem with that. As long as it slips right out, I have no problem with that. So this is my hair with deep conditioner all up in it. Feeling really good. I'm actually about to go wash this out of my hair, but I did want to take a minute to talk about this. This is also a first time product, so I guess this is like a video of hair first impressions. I never did one of those, but like I said, I was slacking on my deep conditioning, but I was, I always stuck to my t-shirt drying. Anytime you saw me wash my hair, y'all know I would wrap a t-shirt up and around it. But if you watch my recent haul videos, you would have seen that I picked up the main towel. That's what's called, yeah, the main towel. So this is the anti-frizz microfiber towel. And it says it's 100% microfiber, 70% polyester, and 30% polyamide. It says it alleviates knots, tangles, and frizz while maximizing retention. On the side here, it says complete your hair regimen with the main choices full, healthy hair growth and retention product line. And it says it's designed for any designed for everyone, anti-freeze, hypoallergenic, large size to fit everyone, super soft fabric, lint-free, fade resistant, lightweight, easy absorption. 
dries the hair without drying the hair and makes the hair soft. So this is the first time I'm opening this. No, actually I'm lying. I did open it and take it out and I seen how pretty it was wrapped up. And I was like, oh wait, I gotta share this with my case quad. So yeah, this is the main choice towel and it has a cute little ribbon around it. That's that and I don't need to unwrap the unwrap. I'm just gonna pull it off there. Keep the ribbon wrapped up there. And it says uh, the dimensions is 20 by 20 by 39. So let's see. Whoa, it's not even in the shot. This is how long it is, guys. And then let's see how wide. Oh, I like this. And then, okay, so I see the little um, loop here. So I'm guessing there's going to be a way for me to tie it. Right here it says the main choice. On the back there it tells you your washing machine, your washing directions. Again, it says the ingredients of the material. Machine wash cold water. Do not bleach, hang the dry. So don't put it in the dryer or anything. So I'll probably just like hand wash this so that it doesn't get mixed up with the towels and stuff. Because I don't know if you guys know, you can't wash microfiber with regular towels. It will jack everything up and that no, what does it say? No fuzz? Lint free, that whole lint free situation will be right out the window because lint will go all up on it if you do use it with your regular towel. So I do recommend washing this separately. I felt folded it in half, but it is pretty wide. I don't know if this hole is when I wrap it up, I'm supposed to stick the stuff through the hole, but we'll see. I'm about to go wash this out my hair. I'll come back and then hopefully it'll already be on my head. I don't want you guys to see me struggle with it on, but I'll let you get I'll let you guys know how easy it was for me to put it on and if it could compare to my t-shirt. So I'll be right back guys. Alright y'all, so I definitely had to come back to show you the struggle I'm having with the towel. I put the little loop thing here to the back, but it's not saying. So I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but I'm just twisting it around. Make sure my hair is covered. Pushing it back and I'm trying to get that through the loop. A minute ago, it did go through the loop, it just won't stay. So I'm just gonna use a clip and freaking clip it back so it can stay up. Um, it feels nice and soft though. Um, I, I don't think I even touched on the smell of this, but it smells nice and fresh. But there's a sweetness behind it too. It's hard to explain. But I don't think it's like so perfumey or anything. Fragrance is the one, two, third to last product. So if there is any fragrance, it's hopefully just a small amount of fragrance, but it does smell really fresh. My hair, as I told you, felt really soft after the deep conditioning. And what I'm gonna do now, it doesn't, I just noticed. The towel itself doesn't say how long you should keep it on for it to absorb the, for it to absorb the liquid, but I'm gonna keep it on for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm actually about to go make me some cinnamon raisin toast and get that popping and then I'll come back to you guys when I decide I don't even know what I'm gonna do with my hair but we'll decide together I'm guessing so yeah I'll be back just to show you guys I'll probably show you guys my um, LCO method how I do my liquid cream and oil moisturization going on so yeah stay tuned for that all right guys so we are back um, I don't know if the towel is too short, but when I finally got it to stay, as you see, I have this clip back here to keep the towel going through the loop. All this is showing out. All this is out, so I don't know, but it's time to take it off. So, this is what my hair looks like freshly washed. I'm gonna go ahead and finger part it through the middle. My middle part is basically situated because I always do that middle part to separate my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip one side up. No, actually, should I? I'm gonna do it in quadrants, being that I'm gonna actually moisturize my hair. For parting, I like to use these skinny tail combs just so that there's not too much snagging going on and borrowing from other sections of the hair.
Now the front of my hair is a totally different texture than the back of my hair, so it's always easier to detangle and moisturize the front. So probably this back section I'll end up separating into four pieces itself, so it'll really be six, it's not quadrants, it's gonna be six sections. From separating those first two, I can already feel the elasticity in my hair. That's one thing I always like to feel is elasticity. You know, when you pull your hair, you don't want to see the hair stuck in your hand. You want to know that it actually bounces back. So elasticity is big for me. So I'm happy to see that. And the best way to separate your hair, you see how my hair is stuck together? The best way is to work from the end. Same thing as if you're combing but you can do it with your fingers and finger detangle it out. The towel feels like it absorbed a lot of that moisture out of my hair, so my hair is not wet at all, which is pretty cool. So, we have these last two pieces. If you've been on my channel for a while, following my hair journey, you know I like scalp massages with natural oils. Lately, I haven't been mixing my own oils, but if you're interested in like DIYs of how to mix your natural oils, I do have videos on my channel showing how I used to mix my oils. These days, I buy them pre-mixed. So, the one that I'm using right now is the Camille Rose cocoa nibs and honey ultimate growth serum it says i can't even read that Ayur, ayurvedic brahmi and amla oils it's a heal a healing hair oil blend crafted to combat thinning and hair breakage it tells you to restore your strands with cocoa nibs and honey ultimate growth serum a restorative oil cocktail of that damn word again <laughs> ayurvedic Amla oil and Brahmi herbal infusions crafted to open black hair follicles for improved circulation and optimal hair growth. So, oh, I'm never shucking it. Maybe it's better that I read directions. So, I'm reading it for you guys, but I'm teaching myself too. So, it's just to shake well before each use. Pour a small amount onto fingertips and massage into the scalp. Use every other night before bedtime or as often as needed. Wash and condition as normal with Camille Rose for best results. They always gotta plug their own products, right? But I don't know why they tell you to apply it on your fingertips. I think the nozzle is perfect just to go right up in your head. I appreciate the nozzle for that. But maybe that's why, you know, when I first used this, I used so much of the oil, the oil was like dripping all over the place. So use cautiously, because a little bit of this oil does go a long way. I've definitely reduced the amount since that first time. I mean, like, I barely have any of this product left. As light as it is, I feel like I'm already all the way down here, which is why I went ahead, if you saw the haul, you saw that I bought, well, the main choice over Memorial Day, they was having their half off sale, so I went ahead and picked up the main choice growth oil that they have, their version of it, but you can see that this is only four ounces and this one is eight ounces, so you get a whole lot more for your money when it comes to the Camille Rose. I'm not sure of the price difference, it's not listed on here, but, um, I'll leave information about everything that I mentioned in this video down in the comments below. I'll have it linked and listed for you guys so you know exactly what's what, you know, if you want to know more information as far as ingredients and stuff like that. Today, of course, I'm going to go ahead and finish what I've been using. So the ingredients in this one is virgin almond oil, virgin sesame seed oil, virgin coconut oil, golden jojoba oil, virgin olive oil, pressed macadamia oil, shibu, WS, I don't know what that means. Aromatic organic cocoa beans, organic honey biotin, MSM, Remblica, officinalis. There's some tea tree oil in here that says it's naturally scented, and the last ingredient is love. So I love that. So yeah, let's go ahead, open up the nozzle. Let me show you guys what it looks like. See, it's a nice thin oil, so that's how easy it was to run down my hair. And we're not gonna waste that oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right on that part. <laughs> But I'm gonna take this nozzle. Let me turn around so you guys can see. I'm just gonna run it through easily and just go ahead and massage it into my head. I feel like I need a little bit more. Go sideways 
and we'll start to get. I know some people do like an inverted method. What is it called? The inverted inversion method, I think it's called, where you put your head down and you're doing all that. Listen, it's on my scalp, okay? I don't do all that extra stuff. Y'all know I'm a lazy natural. By now, you should know I'm a lazy natural and I ain't doing all that. I feel good enough to massage it into my scalp. So after I do my scalp massages, then I'll go in with my leave-in conditioner. I've been using this one. This is a sample that I had got. This is the Aunt Jackie's Crunch Moisture Intensive Leave-in Conditioner. It's sulfate-free, paraben-free, no mineral oil, no petroleum. It's enriched with shea butter and olive oil. It says revive dry hair with Aunt Jackie's moisture-rich leave-in treatment, natural ingredients, including marshmallow root, give give great slip and just enough moisture to keep the thirstiest coils and curves refreshed. So I did like this. This was pretty moisturizing. It's also a thinner contest thinner consistency. I don't know if you can see it actually moving in the bottle. I don't know if the lighting is blocking it out. I barely have any of this left. So that's why I pulled out another leave-in conditioner. And again, if you saw the haul that I did, I went ahead and bought the main choice hair tight four leaf clover manageability and softening remedy leap and spray. This is formulated with clove oil, flaxseed oil, and aloe vera. It's a daily leave-in spray that tangles and minimizes frizz, strengthen and nourishes to minimize hair loss, improves texture, adds moisture, luster, and nasty and shine, softens conditions, protects, helps to protect hair from the elements ideal for damage, unmanageable hair, fortifies hair to improve elasticity, replenishes, and lock in lasting moisture. And this is also formulated for curly, wavy, kinky, or curly, coily hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this spray first and then go in with the rest of the Aunt Jackie's being I don't have a lot. So let's do it so I'm just gonna spray a little bit. That smells good. And I'm just gonna finger the tangle as always. Even though I got the brush, I still like to get finger the tangle first. And I like to use my hands to apply it. So I'm gonna go in with the on jackets, add a little bit of that for this section and add that to my hair. I'm working on two sections here in the back of the tie just because it's not thick. My hair gets really thick here in that centerpiece, so that's why I separate it from the back. And then with the leave in, I'm gonna go ahead and detangle my hair from it. Ends to roots. And you see that, I don't know if you can see that elasticity, the way my hair is bouncing back. Not too much breakage going on. So the first section is detangled. See why I finger detangled? <clears throat> the knot slip right up. Now going in with more the on Jackie's cream. Another thing I wanted to make note of, I don't know if you notice when I'm applying, but I do the prayer hand. That just smooths everything out, and I like to smooth my hair shaft downward and make sure everything is just applied throughout all the hair, and not just the top and the bottom of the section, but all throughout it. I also like to stretch the hair, so I don't know if you see, I've crossed this one over to this side, 
and I just cross that one over to this side. It just helps my hair to stay stretched. Oh shoot, I didn't do the oil all over. Forgot to oil to massage it, but I'll massage it once I take it out and get to the next step. That middle section. Don't let me forget, yeah. And I was telling you guys about my ends. My ends is rough and ragged only because that's the last bit of that hair color. Like, where does the hair color start? If I can get rid of this much of my ends, I should do like a bob cut or something, right? What y'all think? Because these ends are driving me nuts, but it is what it is for now. But I'm thinking I'm gonna go get a track very soon. But look how this brush, this brush just glides through that whole section of hair with no problem. Like this brush is everything. Oh, I didn't even go into how my hair felt after the deep condition. Well, my hair does feel nice and soft. And as you saw me tangle it, it wasn't like too much to detangle. It felt like it was very manageable. Scalp massages are everything that it just wakes up the hair follicles in there, letting you know, yeah, I'm clean now. Be ready to accept these good products I'm putting in it, you know? That's how I feel about it. Look, we just made it, y'all. We just made it. So I can go ahead and go to my MPs. I do like the combination. Of both of these deep conditioners, I mean, both of these leave-in conditioners though. So when I spray that main choice spray, I'll probably go in. You saw I bought a, a bigger bottle of Aunt Jackie's leave-in, but it's a different leave-in. So I hope I like that line as much as I like this quench leave-in. But this combination is nice. I already was a fan of this, but the combination of the two, I'm not mad at it either. So. And look at that, I didn't even start from the bottom and it's still gliding through. I like this brush, y'all. Uh, the Denman brush, I don't know if you know, if you're new to my channel, I'll tell you my experience with the Denman brush. It sucked. <laughs> I did the whole modification. I have a video on my channel showing how I modified the Denman brush because I felt like the Denman brush took out way too much hair. It was so harsh on my hair. I think the Denman brush is for girls that have like type 3 hair, but this type 4 hair here was not going for her, okay? So, and another thing, I paid like $15 to $17 for that damn Denman brush, and it ended up falling apart on me. The freaking, I don't know if you know how the Denman brush is set up, but where the, like the rubbery part, the black part in the middle, it started falling apart and it was all gummy and it was getting in my hair when I brushed it. Like it was disgusting, honestly. And I couldn't believe I paid damn near almost $20 for a brush and it had another fall apart on me. And I can't recall ever like blow drying my hair with that brush. So I don't understand why the rubber even melted like that. I was highly disappointed with that. Now guys, I have the leave-in and oils all up in my hair. I have been known to let my hair rock out and air dry with the leave-in conditioner in. I just feel like it gets smoother this way and that's why I, that's why when I did the section, I made sure to pull the section, not pull, but you know what I mean, I brought the section from this side and I clamped it at this side just so that it can be stretched out. So I'll show you from the back what it's looking like. So right now, I'm just gonna let my hair air dry with the leave-in conditioner, let that penetrate in. All right, so it's been about maybe like five, 10 minutes since I had this leave-in in my hair. I just walked around the house, did some things, and the leave-in has nicely absorbed in. 
So L, I told you guys, I normally follow the LCO method when I do my hair. I do have low porosity hair. So I find that the LCO method works better than the LOC method. So my L is my leave-in. Some naturals say the L is liquid. For me, it's leave-in because my leave-in is always my first step after I wash my hair. Next would be C. The C is my cream. I raved to you guys about this cream many a times. This is my TGIN Butter Cream Daily Moisturizer with Shea Butter and Vitamin E. I like to go in with this moisturizer when I'm doing like a ponytail or something like that where I want to keep the moisture in my hair. This moisturizer will keep your hair moisturized for days. It says it's a daily moisturizer. I never got that vibe from it because your hair will stay moisturized for at least three days if not four. So love this moisturizer. It smells heavenly. It smells so good. I don't know, is there fragrance in this one? The ingredients here, the first one, aqua, always a good look. Always gotta have that water. Glycerin, shea butter, coconut oil, olive oil, oil cocoa seed butter, sweet almond oil, castor oil, like a whole bunch of ingredients that I already love and put into this moisturizer is divine, I'm telling you. So bomb. And I don't see fragrance here listed. So that's interesting to me because the smell is freaking amazing. So I wonder if that's coming from all of those ingredients, but it smells so good. Um, it's a white cream, so you really can't see inside the jar. But I'm about done here on this jar. I try not to use so much of it because first of all, it is super moisturizing, so I don't need a lot of it, but I'm also trying to save it, okay? <laughs> So let's go ahead. I'll show you my. It's the same thing, pretty much. I just apply it. Um, use my fingers to apply it. Do my prayer hands. Make sure it's smooth out. I may go into the brush. We'll see. Or I'll just wait until the end product when I'm gonna style my hair. I'm just gonna end up doing like a top knot bun. So nothing major there. But um, let's go ahead and apply these products. This first side here, look how soft my hair is, guys. My hair is super soft. So that deep conditioner definitely does soften the hair. My hair is super lightweight and soft. It doesn't feel heavy or weighed down or anything. So let me clip this side back up real quick. And go in with a little bit of the moisturizer. So I'm going to take that much. That may be, I think that's too much. We're going to use that much, not as much as I had the first time. Because remember, it's separated. So I'm starting at the ends. And I work my way up and grow out the hair. Pray your hands, smooth it up, all throughout the hair. And I'll just take a little bit more, just I really like to get my ends. So lightly and fluffy, I love it. Not a lot. It's always good to start with a little bit of product because if you need to add more, then you know it's easier to add than you can't take it away unless you get like a you're gonna wash your hair again or something, and I ain't about that life. <laughs> Remember, the ends is the oldest part of your hair, so you always want to make sure to treat it with love, you know? You want to give it that extra TLC, that extra moisturization. And the fact that my curls still curl up at the ends, even after the bleach and stuff, you know, that's what lets you know that it's in a pretty decent state. Alright, so my hair is all moisturized and then it's on to that last step which is oil and for that I'm going to seal in that moisture with the anti with the main choice ancient Egyptian anti-breakage and repair anti growth oil so it helps to support natural growth and retention, penetrates well into the layers of the hair shaft, 
prevents and repairs cuticle damage, restores hair condition and delivers shine, makes hair feel soft, reduces frizz, loaded with fatty acids, omega-3, 6, and 9, helps to replenish hair and fight against split ends, improves hair appearance and texture, strengthens and moisturizes each strand. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty much almost done with this bottle as well. So we're gonna go ahead and seal that moisture in each section with just a little bit of the oil. Lock that moisture in. This doesn't have an expiration on it, but it smells like it's about done. So thank goodness the bottle is done. Alright, and now my hair is all moisturized, guys. Well, this is my type 4 hair using the LCO mask. Alright, guys, so all my products are now applied to my hair. My hair is still nice and lightweight, has nice bounce. I'll show you from the back. I never wear my hair out like this. Never, ever, ever wear my hair out like this. It's nice and big, though. Like, Wow, I didn't even have to do anything to it, but I am going to put it up into a top knot because if I leave my hair like this, first of all, it's dumb humid outside, so if I leave my hair like this, it'll be like a super afro in a minute, so I'm going to just go ahead and put it up into a top knot. I usually use these kind of bands. These are the cheapy ones from um, Dollar Tree, so I think it does have like some, yeah, there's like a little indention with a little plastic piece. I do like the bands that just run continuously, but between me between my hair, Chloe's hair, and then her doll's hair, all my supplies get lost. So <laughs> we're working with what we got right now. Being that my hair is freshly washed, I'm not gonna apply any gel to it because then gel just makes me feel like I need to wash my hair faster. With these good products that I just put in my hair, I just like my hair to soak it all up without any gel drying it down. Bring everything to the front there. My child took my flat brush for some reason, so I have to use this one, which is kind of rough. But just be gentle with it, it'll be fine. Just want to ensure that the back is smooth. I'm going to use the bigger one because I don't want my bun to be too tight. I'm actually not even going to wrap it around. I'm just going to do it in half, just like that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's all I'm going to do. Seriously, I don't want it tight. I don't want my hair pulling. Why this crooked? Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave my hair just like this. That's good enough for now. I'm in the house. I ain't going nowhere. I had to lift up the camera in order for you guys to see the bun. So that's basically what I'm working with. If I was going somewhere, then I'll get cute with it and smooth it out, put some pins and stuff just to make it look neater. But like I said, I ain't going nowhere. I'm in the house. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. I just wrap it around once, nice and loose. Nothing too tight, nothing pulling and my hair is nicely moisturized so i hope this video was helpful it helped up i hope it helped update you guys on what i've been doing to my hair it's pretty consistent i do the lco method i have low porosity hair so that's what works best for me um i trim my hair every now and then when i get the urge to do so but i do want to go in for a actual cut <laughs> at some point in time so yeah that's pretty much it Again, if you have any other questions about my hair journey, let me know down in the comments below. I hope it answered a lot of questions for you guys on what I've been doing with my hair. Pretty much just keeping it moisturized and leaving it alone. That's about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Let's people know that they should be watching this video as well. And while you're down there, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and join the K-Squad. We would love to have you here. And I hope to catch each and every one of you on the next video. Yeah.